It's beer on a clock on Real Old Craft Beer and today I've got something a little bit kind of humorous for you. Um, I think it's funny anyway because, um, well, just by the sense of humour from the brewer here. This is Kin Breweries, it's Svartkunst. And see them letters up there, look at them letters carefully. I'm going to tell you what they mean now. This is at 10.5% ABV, their Foreign Extra Double Imperial Russian Export Stout Porter. <laughs> I think that's great. Uh, there's the bottle cap. Thank you very much to Helge who was kind enough to send this beer from Norway. It's a Norwegian craft beer. Uh, Kin Brewery then. I've reviewed a lot of their beers now, thanks to Hells, and they've been absolutely fantastic. Um, I like the sense of humour of this. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. Oh, oh come on. There we go. So I've got my big, kind of nicely shaped pint glass here. Listen. Listen to that! That's like you've unbolted the little bolt on the bottom of your engine and you've let all of that gloopy engine oil dribble and slosh its way out of the the oil tank, that's what I'm looking for. But wow, that beer did not want to hold a head at all. But then again, a beer at 10.5% ABV, I'm going to excuse that because of the ABV. Um, the, the higher it goes, the, the more difficult it is to produce a head on a beer like this. But what I will show you, did you like that glug by the way? That glug was great. Now, if I rock the beer back and forth, you can see, see them little bubbles struggling its way through the kind of viscous, that, that thickness of the beer. That's because of the thickness of the beer. That's that big gloopy, the, the carbonation struggling to get through that, that lovely jet black gloopy beer. Jet black beer then, aroma. And it smells like a foreign extra double imperial Russian export stout porter, it really does. I'll go into the reason why they called this beer or why I think they've called this beer this now in a moment. But first of all, let me taste it. Let me give you the aroma first. So there's some black, uh, um, sorry, there's raisin. It's nutty, it's vinous. You got your chocolate, your coffee, your caramel. It's so nutty and bready though. There's some tobacco smoke in there. Blind me, I have to dive into this one. Cheers everyone. Mm. Oh my. Ah, where do you start? Stone the Crows. That's where you start with this beer. Stone the Crows. That is got to be one of the kind of thickest, biggest, gloopiest beers I've ever reviewed on the channel. Over 2,000 beers. That has got the thickness of oil. I've never drunk oil in my life, but that's got the the, the thickness, the mouthfeel of oil. And what happens is the beer sits on the palate. It kind of it kind of gloops its way down your throat and gloops its way down into your stomach. So you're picking up all that warmth in your stomach from the 10.5% ABV, the alcohol by volume in your stomach, and it's it's warming and it's it's lovely. You're picking up plums. You're picking up <coughs> raisin. 
Oh, you're picking up, it's a vinous quality to the beer. Little hiss of carbonation on the back of the throat. Chocolate, coffee, caramel galore, it's nutty. Oh, it's, it's cocoa, bitter chocolate, bitter coffee, sweet caramel. Oh, blind me. And that was only after the first taste. Oh, it's so nutty and bready up front. This is beer orgasm. This is beer gauze orgasm we have here. This is a beautiful, beautiful beer. And I've cracked it open tonight for a reason. It's about 20 to 8 in the evening here in the UK. I want to watch that film, Interstellar. And I'm going to attempt to drink this 750 litre bottle of 10.5% ABV Imperial style by the time the film ends. I'll probably be fast asleep in the chair when it finishes. But, oh, if you're going to do that kind of thing, you can't do it on a school night, you can't do it on a work night. It's, you may not wake up for work in the morning, but you don't mind doing it on a Saturday night, do you? I mean, I, I know people, I know lots of people, in fact, who will crack open a 15% a bottle of wine and, and enjoy that all evening. And that brings me to another point. And this point is that, Lots and lots of people will say, you know, if I was to post this to my personal friends on Facebook, they'd be like, oh, you're drinking a, a big bottle of beer at 10% ABV. Oh, my goodness me, you're going to be really drunk and, and blah, 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 blah. And my answer always is, you're drinking something that's higher in the ABV and it's the same bottle size. Big deal. Big deal. Get over it. Enjoy a beer. Anyway, I'm kind of losing the the my way in this review minute. So let's get back on to the beer. Let's give it another couple of more tastes. Mmm. So I'm sure by now you get it. You get where I'm going with this. It's a massive gloopy little bits of coconut in there. Let me let me wash this beer around in the glass. Look at that, it's fantastic. I give you all the flavors, the raisin, the chocolate, the coffee, the caramel, I won't repeat myself, you know what I'm saying with the beer. You can, you can imagine what this Imperial Russian Porter style, extra, whatever you want to call itself, is. But this is the reason I want to get onto next. This is the, the next subject I wanted to talk to you about. And that is the name of the beer. I could take a sip, that could be an Imperial Porter. I could take another sip, it could be an Imperial Stout. I could take another sip, it could be a barrel aged stout. I could take another sip and it might be a double stout. I could take another sip and it might be an extra stout. But my point here is that this foreign extra double Imperial Russian export stout porter as they call it, there you go, has been called that because it could be any one of the beer styles I've just mentioned. It's down to the brewer, it's down to the brewery, it's down to the marketing team, and if you're a small brewer, it's down to the brewer, maybe his wife, or maybe his girlfriend, or, or maybe the pair of them, that decide whether it's going to be an Imperial Stout, an Imperial Porter, Foreign Extra Stout, Double Stout. It's essentially, at this ABV, the same beer. Essentially. You need to put a massive malt build into this beer to get the ABV. So call it an Imperial Stout, call it an Imperial Porter, call it what you like. This is just a brewer's way of... of, of Making a little joke of it. And I like it. I like that. So, 
Thank you very much to Helsch for sending again such a wonderful beer from the Kin Brewery. It's the Svartenkunst. I gotta be careful with that one. He's the man there with the devil's horns and the devil's fork. <sighs> rating, I'm only gonna give this one rating. It's a flat out 10 out of 10 beer for me. Absolutely wonderful stuff. Put your comments in the comments box. Check out the Kin Brewery, check out their beers. Um, they're wonderful, their beers have been great. Uh, the West Coast was an amazing IPA, I think it was 7.5% ABV. This indeed is an amazing foreign extra double stout, expo, porter, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, the, the beers are great and, and the beers from Hells have been absolutely fantastic. Um, thanks for watching, 10 out of 10. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.